Today we'll be walking you through the process of creating a nonprofit profile on the Miami Foundation site. Profiles created on this system will be viewable by the public year-round at MiamiFoundation.org. These profiles provide philanthropists in our community the opportunity to learn about the work that organizations are doing and give directly to an organization through its profile. This profile is also used for organizations interested in participating in Give Miami Day, a 24-hour online giving event. Profiles are only for 501c3 public charities and pre-approved philanthropic funds at the Miami Foundation. If you are a fund holder and would like to create a profile, please contact info at miamifoundation.org or call us at 305-371-2711 and someone will assist you with creating your login. Otherwise, if you're a 501c3 public charity, please follow these steps to begin your registration process. Let's begin by going to the Miami Foundation site at miamifoundation.org. Then you'll click on Nonprofit and click on Nonprofit Login. You'll click here to begin the registration process. I'll be using the Miami Foundation as an example today in order to create a login and profile. After you put in your organization's EIN number, you'll see in the re under the results tab the, your organization. If your organization does not come up or is marked as registered, please contact info at miamifoundation.org and someone will assist you with next steps. You'll click register and you'll see a form that you'll have to complete in order to create your login. The box marked info, uh, contact information, it's important that you put in a contact person that will be responsible for all communication that the foundation sends with regard to your organization's profile. Please make sure that the email address provided should belong to a staff member and should not be a generic info at organization.org email address. Each organization will create one username and one password. Any staff member who will be logging into your organization's profile will need to use the username and password that you create. Once you're creating your username and password, please note that your username will automatically have the numbers 12844 automatically appended to the end of your username. This is done to create a very unique username for your organization. When creating your password, please note that your password must be eight characters in length and must contain one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, and one numeric or special character. Next, when you're looking at the organization information form, please fill out information regarding your organization. Here, you can put an email address like info at yourorganization.org. You'll see that your organization is classified by a major and minor category. These categories unfortunately cannot be changed. They're automatically populated by the IRS, but you are able to classify your organization differently if you'd like. Next, you'll include your organization's mission statement and then click Submit. You'll see the, the Nonprofit Central Participation Agreement and Legal Notices. Please review this agreement and click Accept. You will then receive an email sent that confirms your registration. Once you receive this email, please click on the link to complete the online registration process. It is important that you click the link within five business days. If you do not receive the email with these next steps, please check your spam folder. If it's not there, please contact info at miamifoundation.org. This may take a few minutes, so please be patient. Once you receive your email, you'll click on the link and you'll be redirected to the login page. Then you'll enter your username and password.
and click login. You'll see information with instructions on how to launch Blackbaud Nonprofit Central to complete your profile. You'll copy paste the link and open Internet Explorer and launch the program. This program can only be used on Internet Explorer. If you do not have Internet Explorer, please contact info at miamifoundation.org and we'll assist you with creating a time that you can come into our office and complete your profile. Once you get to the page, you'll click Start and enter in your username and password again. If this login does not appear, then you are probably not using Internet Explorer. Once you log in, your home screen will appear. Click on Organization Search. And then on the right hand side of the screen, click Search again. Your organization will appear in the results grid. Double click on the record to open up your profile. This will be your organization's main profile page. To view a list of the required fields, please visit miamifoundation.org slash givemiamiday. First, you'll look on the left-hand side with the, the box called Tasks and review your organization details. You can include information about the year your organization was incorporated, as well as upload your organization's logo. You can include additional information, for example, fax number, if you have a URL specific to um, volunteers or don't, to receive donations, you can include that information and then hit save. There are required fields and data that must be populated in order to receive um, an approved status for your profile. It is crucial for organizations to have updated and relevant information in their, pro in their profiles. The following information is required to complete a profile. Should you wish to include additional information in a non-required tab, please do not hesitate to do so. First, I wanted to point out that on the right-hand side of your um, profile, you'll see um, a box that says 509A1 public charity or another classification of a public charity. This box will not appear for um, donors to see. This is really just how your organization is classified by the IRS. Yes, all organizations are considered 501c3 public charities, but they're further classified in additional sections of the code. So we'll first, on, we'll first start on the general tab. You'll see that there's a box called aliases. You will go to the right and click add if you'd like to add an additional alias for your organization. It is important that whatever alias is used and set as your primary alias is the name that you would like your organization to be searchable as. You can edit your already existing alias if you'd like. Next, you'll see the classification section. If you'd like to make any edits to your classification, please click Edit and hit Save. Next, you have the opportunity to include some search phrases that you would like donors to be able to look for your organization as. You can use words, for example, you know, uh, education, children's services, anything that may be helpful in having a donor look up your specific organization. 
Next, you'll look at the Statements tab. You'll see the mission statement that you had um, entered initially when you created your login. If you'd like to make any edits to this mission statement, please click on Edit and make those changes. No, if your organization's main address is not located in Miami-Dade County, please include a short description of your organization's program that's serving the Miami-Dade County area in the mission statement. Next, you'll go to the Staff tab, and you'll add your CEO or your Executive Director. You'll see already that the only active staff member listed is the individual that created the login. So you'll go to Add, and then click on the binoculars. Click Add again, and when the window appears, you'll enter the staff member and then click Save. When you see this window, you'll then use the drop-down menu and select CEO or Executive Director. You'll also have to include their start date. And then click Save. Next, you'll look at the Documentation tab. And here, you'll have to enter several pieces of information. First, you're going to add your Facebook page as well as your Twitter handle. You'll click on Add and select Media Link from the drop-down menu. Then you'll click on the Type drop-down and include a media, uh, your Facebook page and enter your Facebook page here. Then you'll click Save. You'll do the same with your Twitter handle. You'll click Add, Media Link, use the drop down for Type, your Twitter handle, and then enter that information in the Media URL section. Next, you'll upload attachments. You'll click on the Add button. Click on Attachment, and then on Type, you will use Other. The two documents you're going to be uploading today is your IRS Letter of Determination and your Department of Agriculture uh, Solicitation Certificate. First, we'll be using the IRS Letter of Determination. You'll click Save, and then go about uploading the additional document. Make sure to title your document so that it's easy for reviewers to upload and approve. Each 501c3 public charity must be in compliance with the Department of Agriculture in order to participate in Give Miami Day. Next, you'll go to Payment Information and include your ACH information for your organization. To expedite payments, the Miami Foundation will be sending donations directly to organizations via ACH transfer. We'll be entering the information about your financial institution, the address of your financial institution,
as well as your checking account or savings account designation, and then the ACH routing number. It is important that you enter in the ACH routing number rather than a wiring um, routing number. Then you'll enter the account number. and click Save. After completing this last step, you are now able to submit your organization profile for review. You'll see that in the corner right now of your profile, there is a designation called In, Pro in Progress. Once you submit for review, that designation will change. So click on Submit for Review, Review the Nonprofit Central Participation Agreement again and click Accept. If you'd like to add any additional comments, please do so in the box provided. Then you, sh then you should be able to click Save. And you'll now see that in the corner of your profile, your status for your profile is now pending review. Profile reviews take approximately two to five business days and possibly longer at peak times. After the Miami Foundation staff reviews your profile, you will receive an email from the Miami Foundation with either changes to be made or approval. Please look for an email from the Miami Foundation and the subject line will be the Miami Foundation Profile Status Change Notification. To ensure that this information is received, please look into your junk mail if you don't receive any communication from us within two to five business days. If you need any additional assistance in completing your profile, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for your time today.